one thing we had earlier was groups. Groups are kind of helpful, but they're also a little weird in Unreal Engine. So let me show you how groups work. So in our case, I'm going to have the roof. I'm going to go and select, shift select the other bits and pieces here. So the walls and then the floor, and that could be my room. So shift select this, shift select this, and then go and then shift select the floor at the bottom. And that's now all the pieces of the room selected. And if I wanted to turn that into a group, I can go and either right click on this and head over to group and then that groups it, or I can press Control G, that'll do it. And that'll create this group actor object in my scene, but it's not really visible, and it's a kind of a proxy object. And it behaves a little bizarre because things aren't really parented underneath it, but everything is now together. So if I select one actor here, and it doesn't matter which one, they are all selected, and this whole thing moves as one unit. And that's kind of cool. So for our scaling exercise, that worked really well. Almost, because it basically scales them from their individual pivot points. And if you do it multiple times, the objects actually break. So I'm glad it worked for you earlier, because it can also go horribly wrong. Brian was trying to rename the group actor, and the group actor object behaves slightly differently from all the other objects. So now I can't seem to rename it, so I can't press F2, and I can't uh, left click and wait for it, it just doesn't work. But there's a trick, there's a workaround that we can employ, and that's we can search for the group actor's name in the outliner. Just, I'm just going to call it, I'm just going to search for group. And then once the search has filtered it down, I can select it, then press F2, and then I can rename it. So uh, my room, for example. Don't ask me why that is. The moment I go out of the filtering, it is now my room, but I still can't rename it when it's not filtered. So don't know if it's a bug. It's been like that for many years from what I gather. It's one of those things. So yeah, that's how you can do that. So by default, when you select one of these actors, everything is selected and you might not always want that. You might just want to select a single one. And there's a couple of ways that we can do that. One way is to right click on the whole selected group and under groups, you can say unlock. Ungroup would, you know, remove the group actor and turn them into separate objects again. Unlock will do kind of what you'd expect. You can now select a single one and then do something with them and, you know, let light in the room or something like that, uh, or remove it or whatnot. And then when you go back to groups, you can go and lock the group again, and then it behaves again like the single selectable object. So that's one option. The other option about groups is that you can head over here to settings and temporarily switch off allow group selection. So if you disable that, that's shift control G or control shift G, then we have a similar state, but the group itself remains, it's now grayed out, it can't be selected anymore. And each object is now a separate object again until you go back into settings and uh, enable allow group selection. And then that happens again. So, you know, a little bit weird, but I thought I'd bring it to your attention just because, you know, it's one of those things. <laughs>